let's throw some jabs. The fight starts now! All right, Ade, on Saturday, the trilogy would be completed. A decade-long rivalry between Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez and Juan Francisco Estrada will conclude in Arizona. The rivalry between these two is tied up at one. Gonzalez won back in 2012. Estrada picked up a disputed decision in 2021, and now here they are once again. How do you see this fight playing out? Firstly, I think it's too zit to Gonzalez. I thought um, Chocolatito won the second fight as well. But look, Ray's a thin decision, but I thought he won. I thought he'd done enough in that fight. Um, I see this one going the way of Chocolatito again. Um, you know, I, I've been impressed with Chocolatito for, for a long time. I think you're looking at a very special fighter here. And I like the way in which you got rid of Martinez as well. I know Martinez is not on Estrada's level, but he's a young, hungry kid coming up in weight. And I thought he was going to cause Chocolatito some problems. And he quickly found out that there's levels to this game. Whereas Estrada and that win against Cortez, if it wasn't for that seventh round knockdown, you know, you swings and roundabouts that could have gone the way of Cortez. So I feel like one's on the ascendancy and one's just staying and it's plateaued a bit. And I think that's Estrada that's plateaued. And I think Chocolatito, although the older of the two, I think he's just got too much. I think he really has. And look, I, I have to put my hands up and say I was guilty when he lost to Rungvasai back to back. I kind of thought that was that for Chocolatito at the top level. And then he fought Cal Yafai, and I remember thinking, okay, let's see what you can do against Yafai. And look, a lot of people, you know, maybe look at Yafai's recent performance and think, okay, he's not that good. Yafai had some good wins. I remember he beat, um, I think he beat Ishida, he beat Gonzalez. The way in which Chocolatito played with him, an unbeaten fighter, showed me that there's a lot left. And I still think, even though he's 35, I think there's still a bit left in Chocolatito. So I expect him to get the W. I think you made a good point there when you said one fighter is kind of ascending and one fighter is starting to dip a little bit. I think that's a fair way to look at Chocolatito and Estrada. It's, it is remarkable that we're saying that Roman Gonzalez is ascending yeah. at this point of his career, but he has bounced back really nicely in the aftermath of those uh, losses to Sor Rungasai, especially the last one. And I, I too had him winning that second fight against uh, against Estrada. And I, I love the way he looked against Julio Cesar Martinez. Now Martinez, I think in a way, was exposed a little bit as being somewhat of a limited fighter. He's all offense and no defense, and Chocolatito just teed off on him and put like a, a beating on him that makes me wonder exactly what Julio Cesar Martinez is gonna look like yeah. in the aftermath of all that. But, you know, watching the fight between Estrada and Cortez, that was an opponent that was being kind of put in front of Estrada for him to look great against, and yeah. he didn't. Uh, and that makes you a little bit concerned about where Estrada is at this point of his career. Yes, he was off for a long time. Maybe he had a lot more ring rust than we thought, but he didn't look good in his last fight, and Chocolatito did. Let me ask you this question. Who is this fight more important for? I mean, both these guys sure seem like they're headed for the Hall of Fame when their boxing careers are over, but as we head into the trilogy, who needs this win more? It's a great question. It really is. Like Normally, you go to the older guy, right? The older guy needs it more. Uh, and Chocolatito being what three years older than Estrada. I I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna answer it differently from a fan's perspective. I, I want to see Chocolatito win because I wanna see those fights against Bam, who I know will probably go down in his next fight, but I'm desperate to see that. And I'm desperate to see him against Nakatani as well. So two young, unbeaten guys in the super fly or flyweight division. So I think for boxing, I think boxing's more, we're, we're wanting to see Chocolatito versus Rodriguez and Chocolatito versus Nakatani. So for me, it's more important for Chocolatito to win. But for Estrada, again, because I've said he's plateaued, I think he needs to look really, really good and win. Or I think it's going to be a case of he gets fed to the Sharks and that could be the end for him. Whereas I feel like Chocolatito, there still looks to be that something special left. So I think it's more important for Estrada to win because I think if Estrada doesn't, then that's that. But I think for a, from a boxing fan standpoint, and this is probably a bit more selfish, I want Chocolatito to win because I really want to see how he deals with Bam, especially after we've seen Bam kind of run through the older statesman in Rungvasai and Cuadras. I want to see how Bam handles Chocolatito. More importantly, how Chocolatito can handle someone young and hungry like a Bam. So I want Chocolatito to win. I think it's more important he wins for the sake of matchups in the division. I, I tell you, an aside, I'm looking forward to seeing Bam in Arizona. He's going to be down there. And I just want to look him in the eye and say, I know you're going to 112, but could you really turn <laughs> yeah. down a fight against Chocolatito yeah. if it's offered to you in March or April of next year? That's that's all I want to know uh, from Bam Rodriguez at this point. I, I think it's more important to Estrada, even though if Chocolatito loses, D 
decent chance his career's over. Yeah. He may decide to retire if he loses this third fight to Estrada. But for Estrada, he's trying to put himself on the same level as Chuck Latito when it comes to this four kings era of the super flyweight division with Quadras and Sorung Masai and the guys that made up uh, the, the bones of that division. Yeah. A win over Chuck Latito, especially a decisive one, will make you say like, oh, maybe Estrada was the better of the two guys in the 115 pound division, or at least he's on that same level. A loss will clearly solidify Chuck Latito at the top of, of this 115 uh, pound hierarchy there. Now for Estrada, his career probably doesn't end with a loss. He could easily go to 118. And once those belts fracture, when Inoue gets out of that weight class, he's gonna have an opportunity to be a title holder, a unified title holder, hell, maybe an undisputed title holder if he keeps fighting uh, you know, over the next few years. So I think there's still a pathway to big fights for Estrada if he wins, but if he loses, we will know once and for all who the kingpin was of 115. Yeah, no, that's a, it's a great point. Uh, it's funny, I remember looking at the pound for pound rankings after their second fight and people still had Chocolatito above Estrada in the pound for pound ranking. So I think a lot of I people, did. you did, right? I think a lot of people sort of thought um, uh, that Chocolatito won that second fight. And I feel like you're correct. Estrada needs to, to win it just to almost silence those critics that come from that, that second fight. Whereas, as you say, if Chocolatito wins, then he, he's the king of this division from this generation, this era of fighters with um, Quadras and Rung Versailles. So look, I, I agree. I think it's more important for Estrada but just from the fans' perspective, and now you've mentioned that Bam will be there, I really hope that Chocolatito wins, and I really hope that, and Bam's not that kind of character, but I hope that he says, you know what, I'm getting in the ring. Because that's the fight I'm desperate to see, and like, I know Bam wants to go down, and he you know, he wants the Sonny Edwards fight and others, but really and truly, the, the, the sort of fight that will be stayed on your resume forever, stamped on your resume, is Bam versus Chocolatito at Superfly. And if I'm Chocolatito, I want that young, hungry guy that's destroying and has no respect for the elder statesman in the division. That's what I want to see next. So for me, I'm desperate for a chocolatito win.